in order for us to convert the value of the current resources to the value at the retirement, we have to consider the current available resources for retirement as well as the future resources of existing accumulation plans for retirement, which means we will consider, we will take into account the current available resources that has been set for the retirement as well as the future resources that also has been set for the retirement purpose. All right, so in this instance, planner must be conservative in determining the values. Okay, so once you want to set or you want to calculate the value because at the end of the year, at the end of the terms, at the end of the calculation, we have to evaluate the value using the future value by taking into account the value at the retirement. Therefore, in this instance, conservative is important in the sense that you must not predict the price to be or the value to be too high until it is misleading okay so this is not acceptable if you predict that the value will be increased too high it might be misleading and it will be meaningful uh, at the end of the day because that's why you have to be conservative you also should not put a value that might be too low okay and it might not reflect the economic value of the asset so it is just somewhere like in the middle in the sense that it must be not too high and also not be too low and the rate of return must be derived from the fact finding sheet something that you already agreed between your clients and as we say before this rate of return uh, should be you know like very logical and it, it represent the current economic uh, value and should not also be too high or too low and as uh, we should take into account that it also should be accurate okay so I give an example of computation and the resources for retirement here, for example, let's say the clients, they have stocks and shares with an existing value of 150,000. Let's say the return is 10%, so it is quite okay, it's quite modest, it's quite logical. And the years to retirement is 15 years, as in this example. Therefore, the future value is 6 to 6, 5, 8, 7. Okay, and unit trust 150,000, 8%, 15, and this figure is same goes to EPF because this is current available resources. So the client should look at the current balance of the EPF and we have to calculate the value at the retirement, the future value of the retirement. Therefore, okay, you can get this figure and the total value at the retirement is one for. 29010 and this actually represent the current available resources of the client you can check this figure using calculator okay and you set n okay n is equivalent to 15 years i equivalent to 10 for example in the case of stock and shares written i equal to 10 uh, the pv is obviously 150000 the fv is the one that you are going to solve okay pmt is 0 py 1 and cy equal to 1 and you solve the FV and you can get here 626587. Okay, so 
the similar procedure also applied to other resources for retirement.